Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fifth Tinker will take a chance on being apprehended by law enforcement for her illicit scheme in Coronation Street. Fifth has been sewing logos onto fake t-shirts using Underworld's equipment as part of her illicit side business for the past few weeks. Beth needs to share in the profits with Betsy Swain, the newest employee of Underworld, since she has already exposed her scheme. Dramatic scenes from the soap opera will premiere on Friday. During a mix-up at Underworld, her fake clothes get mixed up with an official factory delivery. The top streaming services for 2024 are Apple TV+, Disney+, Netflix, and iPlayer. When Beth intercepts the Underworld delivery and gets her fake clothes back, she'll have a lifeline next week. Just as her son, police officer Craig Tinker, and his colleague Kit arrive, Beth rushes to the channel for a covered meeting with her contact Sid to transfer the stolen goods. Beth is being questioned by Craig and Kit over her reason for meeting with Sid. After escaping without exposing her swindle, Beth tries to make it her full-time job. She declares that she is leaving Underworld, but when Sid backs out of his employment offer, the entire scheme comes crashing down. The in symbol of Coronation Street celebrates receiving award nominations in a brand new photo session. Beth ends up out of a job and still in danger of being found out about the dubious counterfeiting scam she ran in Underworld. Later on, Beth finds herself having to go back to the plant and plead with Carla to give her former job back. Is Beth's previous employer going to allow her to return? A timely new plot for Bethany Platt on Coronation Street will emphasize the risks associated with getting cosmetic surgery done overseas. Despite merely making a three-year hiatus and returning on New Year's Eve, the character has had a rough time lately. It was evident as soon as she arrived that she was having difficulty finding employment in the journalistic sector and would stop at nothing to secure her first significant Weederfield scoop. This involves asking Lauren Bolton questions about Daisy Midgley's relationship with Ryan Connor after the latter had an acid attack. After Lauren went missing, Bethany got involved in the case and was certain that her abuser, Nathan Curtis, was to blame. However, as viewers are aware, the real culprit is shady lawyer Joel Deering. She found the teenager in an abandoned Warrington pub with the help of D.D. Bailey, and it's obvious that she won't stop until she sees Nathan back in jail. In a soon-to-be scenario, she will soon start to feel more self-conscious about the way she looks and decide to travel overseas for surgery. This is a huge story for Bethany, and viewers will see her travel to a foreign clinic for cosmetic surgery, an insider told Metro.co.uk. It doesn't go exactly as planned, as is the case with many of these unregulated processes. Recent years have seen a rise in cosmetic tourism as Brits choose to travel abroad for procedures including gastric bands, facelifts, boot jobs, and turkey teeth procedures since they are less expensive than paying privately in the UK. Because safety standards may not be as high, the NHS website suggests weighing up potential savings against the potential risks. In the coming months, the Platt family will likely take center stage as Bethany's grandmother, Gail Rodwell, Helen Worth, prepares to depart the cobbles after 50 years. Martin Platt, Gail's ex-husband, will make a six-year comeback as part of the exit plot. The specifics of her exit are unknown, as the executives of the soap opera are remaining silent. We do, however, know that she will be leaving for Christmas in a joyful manner. Fans of Corey believe they have discovered Kit Green's real identity, and it isn't that he is the child of Bernie Winters. This year, the Shady Copper, played by Jacob Roberts, showed up in Weatherfield in the guise of Bernie's long-lost son, Corey Mainstay Bernie split up for adoption almost 30 years ago with Christopher Kit Green. Bernie had finally found him a short while ago, but the man had blanked her. Gemma and Paul, two of Bernie's older children, 
were astounded to find a new sibling in the mix. Furthermore, Kit was complicit in the terrible end of villain Nathan Curtis, who accepted responsibility for killing Lauren Bolton. Nathan Kit together by surreptitiously more. inserting Lauren's genetic markers into his motor. Since then, Kit has become a regular on the street. But the Express claims that he displayed his evil streak when he yelled that he would take Gemma and Chesney's gaff and return it to them. But it didn't take long for him to show off his darker side. He briefly expressed his disdain for Bernie in front of everyone. However, the public is increasingly wondering if the Kit Green we're seeing is the real deal. On a Coronation Street Facebook community, an astute fan post said, I don't think Kit is Bernie's son. I think he has stolen the identity of his housemate. Fans of Corey are solving the puzzle and offering some delicious conjecture. A significant number of them are certain that the character in issue is, in fact, Kit Green's real adopted brother, and that he is seeking revenge. Perhaps her Bernie's son was adopted by Kit's mother and received better treatment than Kit, speculated one detective. I agree, but he is not the housemate. He is the adopted brother, pondered another. In an attempt to solve the puzzle, a third person made the following suggestion. So Kit's real parents adopted Bernie's son. He was at the mansion for that reason, is well-versed in its history, and goes by the last name Green. Kit desires retribution for his brother and perhaps the hardship she brought onto his family during his childhood. Another person made the following claim, which was in line with this twisted way of thinking. Me too thought that something not right about him default twist to it. Maybe had another brother who was adopted by Kit's adoptive parents and is seeking vengeance for him. Asked a fifth theorist. Star of Coronation Street Jane Danson received a ton of letters to forward to her husband in response to her birthday greeting. Although the actress isn't usually on social media, she made an exception on Robert Beck's birthday. Actor Rob and Jane, who gained notoriety for her role as Lean Battersby in the ITV soap opera, have been together for over 20 years. His television credits include roles in Brookside, Emmerdale, Waterloo Road, and even a 2008 cameo on Corey. Robert most recently starred as Fergus Collins in the Channel 4 serial opera Hollyoaks. He also had a brief but dramatic appearance as the antagonist Damon Harry Harris at the end of last year in Emmerdale. In honor of her partner's birthday, Jane posted on Instagram a vintage picture of Rob along with a more recent one of him grinning broadly while enjoying what looked to be a sun-filled vacation. Happy birthday, my, she said in the caption of the photo. 56 years old at the time. I will always love you. And among those wishing her a happy birthday were her co-stars on Corey. The character Toya Habib, played by Georgia Taylor, said on Facebook, Happy Birthday, Rob. In response, Sally Dynever, the iconic Sally Metcalf, wrote, Happy Birthday at Robert Beck 529-6. Sinise Welch of Loose Women tweeted, Happy Birthday, Rob. And Hollyoaks actress Alex Fletcher responded, Happy Birthday. What a gent. At the announcement of Rob's Emmerdale comeback, which will see him take on a new role after his 1999 debut in the long-running program, Jane said she owes the soap opera a lot. She recalled first meeting Robert at the 1999 British Soap Awards. The Berry native previously acknowledged that when she was 15, she developed feelings for Robert. However, the couple's years of friendship blossomed to romance, and in 2005, they got married. A year later, they welcomed their first kid, Harry, and a year after that, they welcomed their second child, Sam. They are currently commemorating 25 years of marriage. With the couple first posted on Instagram, Jane included a picture of them grinning for the camera while holding silver mugs that said, 25 wonderful years together. Jane captioned the photo and shared what seemed to be the catalyst for their protracted affair. Excuse me, do you know where the bar is? She wrote, May 15, 
1999. Soap Awards and the rest is history, as they say. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.